I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's webcast. We've got a very interesting guest with us today. He's the author of The Exodus Case, Dr. Leonard Moeller. Gary Stearman is here. Gary, we've got a lot to talk about. In a very few minutes. Uh, this book, the third extended edition, by the way, of The Exodus Case, contains a lot of new information. And Dr. Moeller, thank you for visiting with us today. Uh, you are a genetic researcher at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. Mm -hmm. You do DNA research. In a very few words, you've applied your research mentality to the Exodus, and you have mm -hmm. come up with some amazing material. Yeah, and uh, the, the thing is, I use the same methodology that I do in the laboratory. And uh, if DNA is an ancient text, if you like, we have ancient text also in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So in one way, it's very similar. <laughs> but um, uh, you can use a scientific approach and see if you can verify these events and if you can find connections, etc. And that is what I've been working with. And you can call that forensic medicine, if you like. Mm -hmm. Forensic medicine. And by the way, there are a lot of forensics at the bottom of the Gulf of Aqaba mm. because you've found the evidence of a disaster. Mm -hmm. uh, and the disaster, of course, is well documented in the Bible. Pharaoh's army was destroyed mm -hmm. there. A lot of people think that's a fiction. You yeah. don't think it's a fiction. Well, uh, again, uh, when I follow the story and you end up at that location, at Yam Suf, that is called in, in, in the Bible, in the Hebrew Bible, uh, then, of course, you must investigate the seabed. And uh, first you see the character of the seabed, and then you can actually do a lot of finds. And uh, these finds represent remains of animals and humans and chariots and other things. And that just represent the disaster a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But put into the context of the whole event and the things before and after, it is a piece of evidence, as in a court case. Mm. So Beginning at the Nueva Peninsula, the wash over the centuries mm -hmm. has created sort of a land bridge across yes. the... Uh, uh, the Gulf of Aqaba mm -hmm. there, all the way to um, Saudi Arabia. Okay. And then the wash mm -hmm. coming down from Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. has helped to put that land bridge together. It's mm -hmm. just an amazing thing. If you remove the water, you could actually walk across. Yeah, the interesting thing is that, as you say, it's from two different directions. It has been washed out of these wadis, uh, a lot of gravel and sand material. So in this very deep part of uh, the seas we have on Earth, it's actually 6,000 feet deep. Um, we have what we can call a kind of an underwater bridge. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing is that if you remove the water there, you're on dry ground because it's this gravel character, so the water immediately disappears. Yeah, and it's, it's not solid, solid ground for horses or chariots or whatever. Mm -hmm. One of the things that had to be fulfilled at the crossing site. Now, if when you put an underwater camera down under there, and you, when you did diving mm. in that area, you found what appeared to be chariot wheels. Yes, we found uh, things that uh, have that appearance with a hub and the spokes in different uh, directions. We can see uh, human skeletons. Uh, we can see uh, different parts of, uh, let's say, the femur, this uh, part of the body. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, uh, complete skeletons from humans uh, that we can see. We see horse skulls and uh, and it seems like it's twisted into one another as a kind of disaster. It's mm -hmm. something that just happened and forced these together. And mm -hmm. uh, yes, things like Amazing. that. Amazing. From the ancient maps that you've collected, you found that the land of Midian is over there just on the eastern shore of across from the Nueva Peninsula. Yes, in today's Saudi Arabia. And um, if we look at ancient maps and uh, we look at documentation, whatever, the land of Median has always been on the east coast of the Gulf of Aqaba and is still today called Majan I in Arabic. Hmm. So uh, that is the land of Median, and uh, hmm. there we find all the other things. Wow. Including Mount Sinai in Saudi Arabia. That's what's so fascinating. Well, listen, he's written this book, 448 pages, called The Exodus Case. It's $39.95 plus shipping and handling. We want to send it to you. And by the way, he has a video here called The Exodus Revealed that we have in our magazine. And it's $24.95. It's three hours of wonderful information. Shows the chariot wheels, all kinds of documentation for what's below the waters just off the Nueva Peninsula in the Gulf of Aqaba. Mm -hmm. A disaster there. And he's got pictures of it. When I saw this for the first time, I tell you, I was absolutely astounded, riveted. 
riveted to my television screen as I watched this video. Then I went and put it on a projector on an eight foot screen and watched it again. It was so fascinating. I hope you'll get it. It's twenty four ninety five plus shipping and handling. So order both of them from us, will you? Call the phone number at the bottom of your screen, 1-800-475-1111, and order them today. Dr. Moeller, thanks for being with us today. Gary, last word? Last word, stay with us, because we're going to talk again to Dr. Moeller about some other fascinating topics we don't have time to go into right now. Yeah. So we'll see you again tomorrow with our webcast. God bless you till then.